Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I want to talk to you today about an insomnia recovery strategy that you can use to try to help your insomnia nightmare go away. If you're watching this video then you're probably suffering with an insomnia problem, can't fall asleep, can't stay asleep waking up several times in the night to toss and turn or go to pee or, or to just sort of sit there and think and have your brain not being able to shut off or wake up feeling very very tired or all three of those things. I have also produced this video entitled You Can Beat Insomnia Naturally which you can get from my website or right here on this channel and today I wanted to talk to you about your adrenal glands. So your adrenal glands if you're dealing with an insomnia problem and no one's ever addressed your adrenal glands and you're just taking these sleeping aids to, to fall asleep and, and these pills that you know are helpful but yet you know they're not great for your liver or your kidney then 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 you need to address your adrenal glands your adrenal glands are important for sustaining your energy throughout the day so they work on a circadian rhythm and what that means is in the morning they should be nice and high and at the end of the day they should be nice and low so we should in theory wake up with a lot of energy and then have energy sustained throughout the whole day to handle your tasks and your stressors and the demands of what you need to do and then when the evening time comes you start to get tired it starts getting dark out you hit the pillow fall asleep like a baby and as the sun rises the next day you bound out out of bed and if you have an insomnia problem then obviously that's not so that's not what's happening so you have an adrenal gland problem or at least you should address your adrenal glands and so the adrenal glands function where in the morning they should be nice and high and so what we like to do is we do an adrenal saliva test and we see that Ideally, your cortisol output in the morning should be anywhere between 13 to 24. And your, at noontime, it should be between 5 and 8, so it should steadily fall. At between 4 and 5 in the afternoon, it should be between 4 and 7. And between 20, 10 and uh, 12 at night, it should be between 1 and 3. The whole production for the day should be somewhere between 23 to 42. What I wanted to do was give you an example of a recent adrenal saliva test that I did on a patient. I won't tell you who it was, but I'll give you the results. Their total morning was 8.3. So they're at 13 where it should be. At 8, they told me they don't really get out of bed They don't uh, with bounding amounts of energy, but they're not completely dragging. And this is true. They're at 8, and they should be between 13 to 24. Their next time, they're at 1.6. It should be at 5. They've completely crashed. They don't have any energy to get through the remaining portion of the day. They're at 1 here, and then they're at 1 here. So they go from 8 to 1. Their total output is 12, and they need to be at 23. And the whole reason they came to see me in the first place was because they had an adrenal gland problem. Or sorry, because they had an insomnia problem, which they didn't realize it was adrenal gland related. And so I tell patients, things that drain your adrenal glands are stressors on a day-to-day -day basis from a mother-in-law to bills and finances and jobs and work and kids and parents. Um, that's a big stressor. Not stabilizing your blood sugar throughout the day so it falls because you missed a meal and you didn't have breakfast and you look at the clock and it's 6 p.m. You haven't eaten since 11 in the, after in the morning. Um, you have musculoskeletal pain. Or you have even toxicities and chemical stress which causes a demand for inflammation. So the basic point of this video is, is that if you're suffering with an insomnia problem and no one has addressed your adrenal glands, then that's a big needle in the haystack that needs to be addressed. So if you're looking for a solution to your uh, insomnia nightmare, then hopefully you'll give my office a call and we look forward to helping you in your recovery. Thank you so much.